What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Juggle Nine Seventy Two back here. I'm here with Misunderstood. Hey, Doug. And uh, I'm also here with the uh, Viking Waifu who is on Steam, just dead, just in concentration right now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this epi this episode of Juggle Nine Seventy Two replays Act Razor Two, The Crusade of Silence, is brought to you by what the British call biscuits. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, and, and oh. Lucas. Mm. And Ritz crackers too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. In this episode, we take on the sin of lust. It's chilly. It's very chilly. All the angels feel... Goosebumps from the chill. Interesting. And I might as... And I will... And I will say that winter is my absolute favorite season. Yes. For me, it's the fall. I like fall, too. In the palace we go. Summer, but, summer used to be my favorite season. Now it's not anymore. Oh, I know. Especially you know with how hot the humidity that's gotten to. Yeah, and and my and with my asthma. Mhm. Mm okay, let's see what we got here. I breathe better in the cold. That's saying a lot. Alrighty. And this is beautiful. Yet so. And what's interesting with this, Eerie. though, what's interesting with with this, though, is just you know the, it's about a king's lust for a world that he wants of his own. Not you so know? much the flesh. Not so much the flesh, though, but it's more about you know what he desires yeah. outside of you know the flesh. Yeah. That's I mean, that's very interesting, because usually people when people associate lust, they associate they they mainly associate that with um, sexual impulses. But this one, though, it's more of like, I feel like, you know, this one's more of like a lust for power, though, but this one is just a lust for having a world that he, that he envisions. Yeah. Such to the point, though, that he just, he's, he's in a, a very deep sleep. Very deep sleep, and he's grown cold. Mm-hmm. Damn it, and I am losing a lot of health here. There should be some health. Oh! Yeah, that was too close. Too close to for comfort. Oh! Okay. You that, got you got a bit of health. Yeah, that wasn't enough though. Yeah, so the Japanese version definitely does, you know, uh, balance out a lot. The difficulty's still there though. You can't take it. You cannot take this game lightly. Still. No. Matter of fact, it makes the challenge a little bit. It, I gotta tell you though, this makes the challenge more enjoyable. Yeah. Like I said, I watched your streams every time I'd be on my lunch break. Now I will say this though. There's also this big debate about, you know, should, should difficulty matter in video games and all that, though? It depends. It really depends, though. Some, to a lot of people, people just want to play just to enjoy. Mm -hmm. And I'm all I'm all about that, though, you know? Like, I'm a Souls player, too. I'm a Dark Souls player. And, you know, that game, in general, the Souls series in general, is difficult. Yeah. It's But it's, you know... But it's difficult for its own reasons, that's why. You know, you learn through failure. But yeah. then every, every video game is like that. You learn through failure. Because, you know, that's, that's how, you know... That's how you know you get better though. You learn, you know, from you learn, learn from making mistakes. Yeah. Um. I tell you one thing. I love the 1993 Star Fox game, which we did a live stream of. Yes. Like, like a few years back. Yeah, a few years back we did. But like for the longest time, I couldn't get past Course One when I was ten, and then finally I beat it, and then I, I couldn't get past Course Two, and then I finally got past Course Two. Course Three took me the longest. Oh yeah, it's the most difficult. But I will say though, you know, I the, fucking hate course three. <laughs> I will say though, you know, the most uh, difficult challenge on there is getting through course three at 100% on all on all uh, levels. I, like I said, I don't know how I don't I don't know how the hell you did that, but kudos to you. Well, thank you. A lot of pra a lot of practice. I've gone through. I've beaten course three twice. Um, I've beaten course three twice. Okay. Oh. Never. Neither of them resulting in perfect scores, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I know, right? Um, also, it's like, um, it's like, listen, buddy, I'm a souls vet. <laughs> listen, buddy, I'm a souls vet, and, and a master of weapon. Or saying Q with that salt shaker in the blink of an eye. Mm -hmm. And also, like I said about the Phalanx game, which is the game that we tested out for the Super Nintendo. Um, there's been a series of versions of that game, all of them being super difficult. Whew, that was tough. With this, with this little cold bolt, sorry to mean to interrupt though, but like when you hit him though, he hops. Yeah. So you got to kind of just time yourself right with him. 
Y you know, in, in uh, yeah, there's like been like a thousand, there's been like several versions of the Phalanx video game series. All of them have been super difficult, and I, the only game, the only version I've been able to beat was the Super Nintendo version. Like, the Famicom version is tough. <gasps> oh, snap! Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus. Yeah, there's that. Alright, so, uh, oh yeah, I forgot, I gotta, I gotta time all that. <sighs> So just so you know, if we ever play that game, you might, there might be some... Swearing will be, there will be a lot of swears, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. But I do appreciate the Game Boy Advance version. Oh yeah. And this PlayStation version. Oh, step, oh shit. Oh, sh okay, uh... Another, another game that I, I used to, that I used to have difficulties with was Tekken 6. There we go. Yeah, well, you know, Tekken 6 was also really good, too. Yeah, but I used to, like, I used to be, like, the very easy and normal difficulty. Oh, what do you know? Oh, yeah. And I'll, oh! Oh! She disabled... She disabled... Oh! I didn't know... I never knew that! You could, she disabled your attack? Charm. It's like yeah, she, she's, it's almost like she's trying to charm you. Yeah, it is charming. She's making me jump, too. Oh, wow. That's the first time I've seen that. Lust can be cold as ice. Yes, it is. And I think that's what people... But this is this is the typical take on lust. Yeah. Ooh. But I like the fact that they took lust in a different kind of route out. Yeah, a little bit. And... Let's try this again. I do like the overworld theme for Whoa! <laughs> what was that? I do not. I do not know. Oh, they came from outside. I came from outside. That was a car horn. Uh, what was just a car horn? Then you know what the sound like? That sounded like a fucking a train horn there for a second. Oh yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, we have trains all the time over here. All right. He goes to see uh, the sin of uh, the sin of lust, you know, going our way too. You know, this is her new dance. Yeah, her new dance. Oh, I got a technique for you too. This one's called the San Diego Thank You. <laughs> it's going to require two new gentlemen. Oh, crap. Oh, Jesus. That. Alrighty, here we go. It's a deadly sin for a reason. You know what the bus kind of reminds me of, too? Hold on, hold on. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? What does it remind you of? To me, it reminds me of to run. Yeah, that too. Yeah. <sighs> Also, the the, the, the lust stage kind of reminds me. The Lovea's kind of reminds me of um, stage five, I think, from Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Yeah. Uh, Ice Forest. Yeah, the Ice Forest on Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Yeah. Another difficult game, by the way. Oh yeah. Oh my God. What's even more difficult than that is uh, the original Ghosts and Goblins on the NES. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, there Get away! Get away from you, bitch! Get back. Stay, get back. Get back. Get, get back. <laughs> get back. Where you at? Oh, damn it. That's another thing about lust. That's another thing about lust. Like, they know... Some, if somebody knows how to pull your strings, they know what buttons to push to get you to a cave. Oh, yeah. Psychology for you. Mm-hmm. You got her. There we go. Fuck you, bitch. Oh, crack. Let's call this ice! Fuck your last! The gas line didn't work this time. Or deflection, whatever. Mm hmm. A little bit more of a deflection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if I remember, uh, now that I remember, part two, part two of the palace within the king's mind, mm -hmm. the dream state, it's always. It's always, I remember uh, doing it for the first time, and I gotta tell you, it was one thing that I just couldn't figure out. Yeah. It was one that I really couldn't figure out though, because you're literally running, you know, ruling into a maze. Yeah. So it's warming up a little bit. Stay in the palace. And this time we entered the king's mine. Yeah. The uh, mine can be a very disturbing thing. Oh yeah. You know what? I'll, I want Buffalo Bill's mine. <laughs> I want to see that fucking. <laughs> I want to see that fucking dance happening all over the place. What is everything? What is everything to you and nothing to everybody else? 
What are you doing me? What are you doing me? Please don't skin my back. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. She was fat, wasn't she? <laughs> She's a real big fat person. <laughs> Oh yeah. That looks like a traditional. That skull over there looks like a traditional uh, tattoo. Traditional skull tattoo. Yeah, love it. Maybe it'd, you'd be done in a flash too. Okay, let's see. I like how it looks. I like how it looks so heavenly yet so eerie at the same time. Yeah, I lo uh, you know I like little designs like this. It's really ephemeral. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, sh oh, there we go. Damn. Oh, that's right. You know the uh, these doors we got to keep going through. Ah, uh, here comes the f first mini boss. Yeah, Trick. Trick. Because I'm fucking out of the way. Mm -hmm. I remember you struggling a little, a little bit on the first playthrough. On Lovaeus. Yeah, these little dream, these little dream demons are just a pain, dude. Yeah. Instead of dream Prick. warriors, there's dream demons. Prick. I mean. I mean, that's what uh, Freddy Krueger is. Yeah. Can you imagine, a, can you imagine Freddy Krueger going inside this king's mind? He's a malevolent spirit. Oh, yes. Because he was from a serial killer to a malevolent spirit. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's that. Yeah, this is the... Yeah, like, because I'm going... I'm hitting down. I'm, I gotta hit up to go this way. Oh, wait, I gotta hit down. Oh! Yeah. Because I'm, I'm literally... I'm uh, literally changing directions the way it goes, too. Okay. It kind of reminds me of Earthworm Jim. Yeah, a little the, bit. The, the Earthworm Jim 2, excuse me. Yeah. Earthworm Jim 2. I loved Earthworm Jim. <laughs> I will say this, this is a pretty this is a pretty genius idea, though, you know, for like a, a maze in the mind. Oh, no. Okay, and it's four to go down this way. I will ask this question again. What's that? What is everything to you and nothing to everyone else? Uh, well, I don't know, Edward Nigma. But it's my and mine now goes with the power of yours. <laughs> uh, oh crap, that's a dead end. I'm sucking up your IQ, vanishing cortex, feeding off your brain. <laughs> Fred! <laughs> Alright. Oh, here we go. You're mine, baby! Okay. I love the Riddler. Here we go. I think I think I may have found the exit here. And nope. You, cr you crashed. I think I did. I gotta not do that, man. I gotta not crash, man. Let's see. Now you also had this. Uh, you also wanted to. Uh, we were talking about this earlier. You also had this idea uh, about my theory video that I did about Actors and Actors Two being a th uh, being a prequel or a sequel. You said you wanted to add to that. Oh yeah. Um. I gotta tell you, like, I've watched, I have, this is probably one, the, the prequel or sequel, uh, uh, video that you made as far as Act Razor goes, mm -hmm. is probably one of my favorite videos from you. Uh, let me just oh, throw you. that, let me just throw that out there. Thank you. Um, I have to say you make very valid points that Act Razor 2 might be a prequel. Um... I agree with you, I agree with you actually, but I, I'm also open to believe that Act Razor just might be a sequel as well. Mm -hmm. Just over the mere fact that Tanzra, the final boss in this game, the final boss in this game, like you beat him on the first game and then he's still frozen, and his uh, he's still frozen, undead, and while the master ended up bulking up, looking like, uh huh, looking like. Freaking Thor with yeah. wings. Definitely, you know, it definitely been on the gas there. I can tell you that. Yeah, he, he been hitting the gym, Damn you know. It. Damn it! Sorry, like I'm, I'm going in circles over here. Well, I think I'm, I think I'm in the right area. Yeah, you are. You are. Oh no! No, I'm, I'm not. Sorry. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm sorry. Oh. I'll take the ball on that. No, you're fine. <laughs> okay, let's see. But anyway, you were talking, but you were talking about it. You know, it being a possible sequel and. Yeah, just because, just because Tanzra was on just because Tanzra, you know, survived but not a, but still frozen in hell uh -huh. or death heme if you if 
or death heme if, if you want to be official with it. Well, the uh, the reference uh, the reference that, that it is is from the Divine Comedy. That's yeah, why. Divine Comedy. So I'm yeah. So I'm I'm still going to believe that it could have been a sequel because the Master ended up bulking up while Tanzra was still half frozen. And a lot of time, and then and there's no people praying. Is my point. Right, right. There's no people praying this time. You're just simply looking after the world. There's, yeah. There's civilization. There's all these new lands. Mm hmm And um, and there's new events happening. There's mm -hmm. peace, but also hell. Tanzer got resurrected, yeah. and all of a sudden. Now we face new types of demons, eight, hence the uh, de seven deadly sins. Um, however, I'm also open to believe that this might be a prequel as well, given the points that you were you were given. Like they, Tanzer was was frozen. Uh huh. Um, the master was badly injured in the in the battle, putting him in a coma for a hundred. 100 plus years or so. Something like that, yeah. Something like that, and then he awakens, and there's no civilization. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, it's not just no civilization, though, it's the fact that people have lost faith in him, that's why. Exactly. So, so a possibility of it being a prequel is a big possibility. So, however, I'm also open to believe that there's two different timelines. Okay. Explain the two different timelines for me. So, you said that... You basically said that the first game was based off like Christianity type of. Uh... There's a lot of uh, Christ. Uh, there's a lot of references to Christianity. Yeah. But not to mention, there's also a bunch of other uh, references to uh, other, other uh, re religions like Hinduism. Yeah. Specific, you know, specific Hinduism. Not to mention a little bit of Shintoism. Yeah. More so, you know, in the uh, the rem uh, the remake. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Um. I'll get to I'll get to the remake in a minute. But I'm all that that timeline. I'm also open to believe that there's two different timelines, just because the game's themes were a little bit they were similar but different. If that makes any sense. Yeah, there's always similarities. Yeah. Yeah, there's similarities. It's just um, it was more there was more Christianity vibes on the first game, where in two Act Razor two they based uh, the games off they base the games off of the seven deadly sins especially the antagonists mm -hmm. and then you got Tanzra. so i could there's no mentioning of what happened and also there's no mentioning of what happened in the previous game true that's very true so, not, to not to mention though you know it could be you know hundreds and hundreds of years afterward after the first fives exactly so, I believe that there's... I, 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 I'm open to belief that there might have been two different timelines within the Act Razor game. Or... They're, they're like, they're, as if they're own, they're, their own stories. And they're not connected. Right, right. Oh, that's a, that's a good... That's a pretty good theory right there. Yeah, so, like, there's... Yeah, so I believe... I, I believe there being two different time slides is a big possibility. Yeah, I, it could be it could be possible too. By the way, this this if you haven't seen though, this uh, whole conversation has been based around this whole maze being a being a big fuck loop. Yeah. <laughs> it's difficult though because like every oh there we go there we go finally. Thank God. Um, okay, that conversation went really well actually. Yeah, it did. It's like oh, <gasps> like oh. It's a good filler, if you ask me. Yeah, I agree. And and uh, oh, there's there's the king. There's the king, and there's the lust demon. You know what? I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this one as a mulligan though, because I know this one's gonna be. Okay, hold on. Ah, damn it. Oh, that's the thing about lust. Lust, when you realize what it is, it's ugly. Mm -hmm. Damn! All that damage. Please tell me there's something that stings too, considering that stinger. That, that yeah. That the demon has. How would you describe the lust, uh, the lust dream demon? Ouch. Okay. Goodness. Yeah. Well, that was weird. Yikes. That was weird. Lust, you. Lust will do anything. 
There we go. Oh, man. It's a dream demon for you. Yeah, that is. I can see Freddy Krueger. <gasps> Welcome to my nightmare. Back up! Back up! <laughs> back up! Back up! Back up, bitch! <laughs> Get back! Get back, bitch! Oh, crap! Oh, oh no! Oh, oh no. no! It burns, doesn't it? There we go. Down you Whew. go. Down you go. <laughs> yeah, that was a... Uh, the king has finally awakened. king has been finally awakened from his uh, deep slumber. And now that, we, uh, now, this is, now that this episode's done, we move on to the next episode. Won't say it from here, though, so let's let the king wake up on his own, and we're going to eat. Peace!